Yeah, this is uh, Bang Bang Wales, a little uh, video, what, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And it's about uh, unlicensed fighters. But a lot of it's about oh, Mac and Norman Butland. I like Norman Butland, mate. I see a few of his, few of his videos when he's talking. This guy never, ever runs anybody down. Never runs anybody down. If a fighter is a fighter and is a good fighter, he will give him, he will praise him like Roy Shaw. He said Lenny McLean was the governor, Roy Shaw was the governor, but Butland was the governor. Don't worry about that. Butland was a good fighter, mate, and he wasn't bottled. He didn't bottle drop no one. And they're saying, oh, you know, he's saying, well, I don't think I'd have fought Len, but I reckon he had a good Lenny McLean, a good fight. And, and Butland, mate, you know, and it is true what he says. Um, he could stand there like that and you could whack him as hard as you can in the belly. And he, you know, and, he, and his belly was quite, he wasn't slim, it was quite large, but he could whack it. And it, you know, who does that? Marvin Herbert, there's another one who does that. Marvin Herbert does that, you can whack him as hard as, as, hard as you can, the solar plexus, and you're not hurting him. But obviously, it's a different kettle of fish. No one can get in the ring and have a fight where he can't, can he? Come on, you can't expect, uh, you can't expect, <laughs> <laughs> you can't expect him to get in a fight, you know what I mean? So it's a bit over the top. I mean, come on, mate. Um, Marvin Herbert, you can't get him. He couldn't go in a ring and fight Marvin now. I mean, come on, he, can't, he just about could see you, you know, and his legs playing him up. But I've, I've seen Marvin Herbert spar, spar him, but, you know, he, he'd get hit too much and he'd get hurt too much and it'd be, you know, he would, would get really, really hurt. But as I say, he's all right taking blows to the belly. He loves getting punched in the, in the solars. Uh, got good ab abdominal muscles. But uh, Butlin, Norman Butlin's got the same thing, mate. He can take a, back, a whack around the belly. And when he gets, as he said, when he gets on you, Norman, when Norman Butlin gets on you, he don't stop punching, mate. Even if the punches don't hurt, he's punching all the time. He's punching 24 seven. And he just says, as he, what he says on his videos, his defense, is he keeps punching, that's his defense. He keeps punching and punching and punching and punching, but he wears that opponent down. I see him wear him down all the time. I think, personally, I think um, maybe Roy Shaw would have been quite good to fight with him. Maybe Lou Yates would have been quite good to fight with him. I don't know if he fought him too. He said, he did, he, he said Lenny would beat him. I don't think so. I think he'd have been, I think he'd have held his own with Lenny McLean. Without a shadow of that. Listen, Lenny, listen, Lenny was an old man. Lenny McLean was an old man, an old man out of the ring. He wasn't that good in the ring, but he was a very good old man out of the ring. He could have a fight. He could have a street fight. He could have a street fight, Lenny. Oh, that's why he done a lot of enforcer work. That's why he done a lot of club work, because he could have a fight. But as far as the ring is concerned, he wasn't that good because he couldn't do what he wanted to do on the street. <laughs> on the street. He'd get disqualified in seconds, you know. So, But then he got Paul Sykes. Paul Sykes. Terrific fighter, Paul Sykes, mate. I like Paul Sykes. Um, whatever happened to him, mate, got into the drink, just done him in. Drink, prison, you know, and that's it, you know. If you're a fighter, a boxer, professional fighter, you get down for all the violent charges and you lose your licence and that's it, you go downhill. And that's what happened to him, went downhill, mate. Uh, just got in a drink. Once you get in a drink, mate, it's finished. It's really hard. It's like drugs. Drink is like worse than drugs, I think. Worse than drugs. One of the funniest um, people I've, I've seen fight um, is Matt Legg. Uh, not, not Matt Legg. I could mean Matt Legg. So, sorry, big apology. No, sorry, sorry, Matt. Matt. I'll keep on. This is why I want Matt Legg. I see Matt Legg with Norman, Norman Button. Listen, Matt Legg's a nice guy. Nice guy. You know, ex pro. Yeah, anybody, anybody ex pro, he's fought AJ. He's uh, he, listen, he's fought some good fighters uh, and spar with some good fighters, you know what I mean? He went he went down and, and, and fought uh, Tyson Fury. He sparred with Tyson Fury for a few, for, three or four rounds, you know what I mean? And that takes him doing, that alone takes him doing. And he, he said to uh, he said to Matt Leggett, he said, If you knock, take, knock AJ, AJ out, I'll give you 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> if he didn't knock AJ out, I think he'd have got underground, you know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, he's a good fighter, Matt. Um, but, you know, it's it's it's, it's, it's even hard for Matt. It's even hard for Matt to get a fight going, yeah? He might have someone in line, but it's always the same. They get on the media, uh, I've got a bad leg, I've got a bad back, I can't fight because my mother's 
got chicken pots or my dad's got a sore throat and it's all, it's crazy. They, they, it just don't happen, you know. And all they're doing is walking about looking good and it's, it's, it's not good. You know, Danny Christie, number one, trains 24-7, always training, got a fight coming up. It, it, it's never going to happen, you know. And there's a lot of fighters, a lot of fighters out there, they're very, very good in the gym. There's so many fighters out there who are good gym fighters. Fantastic getting the ring, good in the bag, good sparring, skip, 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 get plenty of floor, with plenty of floor, and they're, the, and they are the tops. 100% they're good at everything. But as soon as they get a fight and they step into a ring, a proper ring, meeting their opponents, they fold up. It just goes, it just fold up. I don't know what it is. There's a lot of, there's a lot of gym fighters out there. Uh, that don't really get into the ring when they should get into the ring, yeah. The bottle goes, this will do it, and when it comes to it, it, it don't happen. Mickey Glutz did it. Mickey Glutz did good fighter, Mick. I know Mickey Fat, Mickey Glutz did good fighter. Another good, good fighter, you know what I mean? And what happened to Mick? I mean, what's happened to all these people, you know what I mean? I mean, one of the best, really, I think, was Johnny Waldron. Johnny Waldron, good fighter, mate. Good fire, light heavyweight fire, cruiserweight, light heavyweight. Um, everybody that got in the ring with him, he beat. Everyone he got to beat in the ring with him, he either knocked him out or stopped or stopped him. Lenny knocked it out, stopped it. He's, he was such a good fire and he could bang. He could bang. Johnny Waldron could bang. I love it. He's still alive, I've been told. He drinks a lot. Another fantastic fire. And how do you feel when he, see, he sees everybody saying, they're the governors, they're the governors. He's the governor. He's one of the governors. And the next one to that, it's got to be Cliff Fields. I mean, I'm, I know Cliff Fields really, really well, yeah? Really well. I'm oh, sorry, I beg your pardon. Rest in peace, Cliff. I knew Cliff really well, yeah? Uh, the guy was a very quiet guy, and he was, a, he was just dangerous. He was just one of these people that... If he hit you on the chin, you're going to go, mate. And when you see him in the ring, he doesn't stop throwing punches. He throws punches 24-7. He doesn't stop. He does not stop throwing punches 24-7. Good, good fighter. Love him, mate. I love him, I love him, I love him. And Cliff Fields, to me, and Johnny Walton was the top two, I think. They were the top two. Without a shadow of doubt, they were the top two, Johnny Waldron and Cliff Fields. I mean, there wasn't no one else, I don't think. Butland, uh, Norman Butland, I think. Norman Butland was there. He was up there, mate. He was up there. I've seen him fight. Fantastic fighter. The one that makes me laugh is Ben Hatchett. Ben Hatchett, um, he does good podcasts. He's fantastic. Um, he's bringing Broadmoor. Um, Broadmoor... A lot of people think Broadmoor was a, <laughs> Broadmoor was a, it was a hospital. And as a hospital, you can have visits every day because it is a hospital. You can go and visit someone in Broadmoor every day. So Broadmoor, it was one of the best places you could be. It was a, it's a holiday camp. Eat nice food. It was, it was like a holiday camp. They give you drugs when you want drugs to knock you out. It was like, and people would go there, they was lucky to get there, mate. Don't worry about that. Everyone, everyone you talk to, wants to get sectioned off. If they've got big sentences, they want to get sectioned off because they know when they go to Broadmoor, they get everything they want. They've got more chances of getting out in Broadmoor than any prison. So Ben Hatchett, he's had it, he had it quite good. He didn't like prison, mate. He didn't like the real prison, uh, but he liked Broadmoor, yeah? Anyway, this is Bang Bang Rail. Um, please uh, just like or subscribe, really, really. But um, as I say, my, my top three, what I'm going to say, my top three fighters were, well, not lighter weights, uh, because people like Colombo was up there, uh, they were fighting Colombo, and uh, it, there was quite, there's a quite uh, quite good fight, Lloyd Waltham was quite a good fighter as well. Uh, Wes Gutwich, not Gutwich, Patsy Gutwich, Patsy Gutwich, good fighter. And, you know, there was quite some good fighters up there, but I think for, my top three is Cliff Fields, um, Johnny Waldron, Lenny McLean or Roy Shaw, one of them two, and Batman. That was my that's my top five or top four. Anyway, uh, this is Bang Bang Rail. Please press the like button and subscribe. Nice one. Take care. Nice one.